impoverished version with uh, like like this. So that's what your dog perceives. How do we know it? Yeah. <laughs> Just ask. No. <laughs> <laughs> My dog didn't tell me. <laughs> the kind of experiment you can do. Well, you can do two kinds of experiments to elucidate this, at least. One is to examine the proteins in their retina and the different kinds of cone cells that they have and how many. They have only, dogs have only two. Bulls have only one, by the way. Or you can do psychological tests. You can reward a dog for discrimin discriminating two colors. And you find that uh, there are combinations of colors that look the same to dogs. They can't do the discrimination. So even though they would get rewards, if they could, they can't. Uh, whereas humans can tell the difference. So you can map out, and using that kind of strategy, you can map out the dog's perception of color. So, but if, before we get too proud, there are creatures that see more color. In fact, many birds and butterflies and insects see four or five colors and also see aspects of light that we don't sense. They sense ultraviolet light, they sense polarization of light, some even sense... Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Just in time. So they